everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So for today's video, we're gonna do a Hobo Deco featuring some cute lawn fawn stamps. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, we haven't done a Hobo decoration for a long time, so we're gonna do one today. Just opening it up to the next page here. Jeez, it has been a long time. Last time we did this was summer. So what I thought I'd do I've been dying to use this stamp set ever since I got it and for whatever reason I just haven't got around to it. So I'm going to use the stamp set as kind of a an inspiration to do a galaxy kind of week. So what I'm going to do is to, like, I think I've done a galaxy here on my channel. If I haven't, this is the first time, but if I have I'll find it and I'll let you know. Um, but we're going to start off with some post-it notes which sort of seems a bit odd, but I'm going to mask off some spaces in here some of them will be right in the middle some of them will be off to each side and that way that's going to be sort of where I can write stuff in because I still want this to be able to be usable I don't want it to be sort of useless so I'm just going to put all the flags down all over the days and these are just Actually remember what brand of post-it notes these are but they're just ones that happen to fit in here you would have noticed that they're not sitting down I'll grab some glue tape in a second and stick them down so that they stay and I'm just trying to put them in the middle of the box height wise but then moving them around a little bit whether they're left or right aligned or somewhere in the middle Once I'm happy, I'm just going to put just a tinsy little bit of glue tape on each of them just to hold it down. That way when we ink over the top, they'll all sit still. I'm going to do something similar over this side. I just want to keep a couple of sort of boxes free to be able to put things in. This is going to look really crazy to begin with, but I promise it all works out in the end, so you just have to stick with me. So I've got three shades of uh, colours. You can do any colour you like here. I th I'm still debating bringing in some green, but just for now I'm leaving it as it is. So I'm going to come in with mustard seed first. Yeah, the only other thing I'm going to do really quickly just grabbing a scrap bit of paper and just putting it down underneath my page and it's just so that I don't accidentally get ink on anything else. We're just going to ink up a little so that's sort of where I want the yellow to be and then I'm going to come over here and put some yellow over here and just sort of scatter this around the place wherever I want there to be some yellow. Oops. Going to bring in some of that crackling campfire, which will be like a reddy orange colour. This is my favourite thing about oxides, is they don't come through at all. It's just perfect on the other side. So it's fun to be able to do something like this. And then I'll pull in the purple. I'm not worrying too much about blending because, and you'll see why in a minute, but we're going to put black and blue all over this so it'll eventually all blend together but we don't need it to right now. So I think I will come in with just a little bit, just a little bit of green. So I'm just coming in with Twisted Citron, it just needs a little pop. with my dark blue so we've got chip sapphire and I'm just gonna go all over the top of everything I just did and like I said this is the weird part this is where it looks a bit crazy I promise you it's worth it load that up I'm so worried about getting inky fingers and then I realize I'm always touching here anyway so it doesn't matter so all over the top being very indiscriminate now just 
going straight over the top of the colours because it'll all blend together and look really spacey afterwards. up with the background it's gonna add just a little bit of black I'm just grabbing my black oxide brush I'm just gonna clean up some of these colors off the side here so I can use it see look at that absolutely perfect on the other side I love oxides so just a little bit of black just sort of around the edges just to kind of darken that up and make it look like you're sort of floating off into space best thing about these sort of space ones is you don't have to worry about it being perfect because it's not. I'm happy with that. I'm actually going to leave those in. Sorry, I just realised I've got one more thing to do. I'm going to add some water so that'll give us some of our stars. But then I'm also going to add in some shiny bits with my watercolours. So I'll start off with just the water and just a bit of paper towel ready to go. A little bit of a spritz because I want these to be pretty reactionary I'm just gonna give it a second I'm just gonna add just a little bit more water it's just not quite where I wanted it to be just give that a sec while we're waiting Grab my watercolors out. I want lots of different colors stars today. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to white gold, champagne gold, and red gold. And we're gonna flick all three of them. All right, so we'll muddle, oops, dirty brush. I hate when I do that. Just muddle all that up. Do a little bit of flicking with the white. Because I'm working darkest to lightest, I can sort of go in with the next one and not have to worry about waiting. And if you don't have um, these watercolour paints, you can just use normal white paint. It looks really good just as normal white paint. I just love splattering. It just makes me happy. Clean that up a little bit so that the next time I go to use my brush it's not as dirty. So I'm going to hit this with the heat tool, which will just sort of dry it off enough I don't need to because right now I'm not going to do anything more on it anyway. I'm going to go and do some colouring. But just so I can put it off to the side and not have to worry about it, I'm just going to hit it really quickly. And then I'm also just going to really quickly take off all of the post-its. And that way it can dry without them on there. We'll add a border on here so it doesn't look quite so stark. It still will look stark, but just so it looks a bit more blended in. And you could really easily come back in with just a little bit of maybe the chip sapphire or something. Just do a really light colour over the top so that it blends in if you wanted to. But I kind of like how bold that is. Alright, so get rid of all the paper. Put that off to the side. Now the colouring here, the stamping and the colouring, I'm going to do reasonably quickly because you guys have seen me stamp and colour before. But I know people like the colours, it's hard. I don't really have a lot of room when you sort of look at it, so I don't need to do too many images here. I know I want to do the little alien, so I'm going to grab him. I'm going to do a couple of the planets. I'm going to do Earth. I think Jupiter's got the, got the 
rings. Saturn has the rings, Ryan tells me. I'm not going to colour these in like proper planets anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. And I'm just trying to decide if I want to put the rocket in. Yeah, we'll put the rocket. out with my Hero Arts Intense Black Ink. I have been really liking this ink lately. I think it's just because my um, Versafine, not Versafine, <sighs> my Memento's just got a little bit dry so I just find this gives me better results at the moment and I can't bother re-inking. I'm lazy. Let's stamp this out. I'm just going to do it twice so I get a really good coverage. So I'm going to start off, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll put the colours that I'm going to use sort of sitting up here but I won't talk you through it, I'll speed through just a little bit. If you guys want to see more slowed down ones when I'm colouring please let me know because I never know if you do or you don't so let me know. in and far too many Copics later but that's all right uh, I'm just gonna add some white highlights just to sort of make them look a bit cooler I think the thing I like about these planets is that I don't have to color them in a particular way I can color them in any way I like which makes it really fun would mean also that every card I did would be a little bit different because they all would have different colours. I like my little spaceman, I think he's cute. Alright, so I'm going to cut these out with the matching dies and then I'll be right back and we'll stick them in the planner.
images are all cut out and ready to go. I thought I had a die for the little um, flame, but I didn't, but that's all right. So I'm just using my fingers just to rub off any of the extra glue dots. You can use an eraser if you like, but your finger works just as well. So for the days, I'm gonna grab these ones. These are Supernova stickers. I love the fact that they're all different colors. They're clear, so it's gonna, you're gonna be able to see a little bit because there's not a lot sort of to worry about. It's not such a big deal. So I'm just gonna put these in the top left corner. I don't do dates when I do my um, hobos, so you don't have to worry about putting numbers in there. critters but they're not really critters are they I'm just gonna stick them roughly down where I want them or place them down where I want them then we can start working out if that's where I want to keep them or if I want to move them the only thing I don't like I feel like I need something else down here I'm going to stick these down because I'm really happy with where they're all sitting. But then I want to do something else down here. So I'm just going to stick them in with um, normal glue dots. Nothing exciting here. missing so I'm just going to grab out one more stamp set I'm just grabbing this stamp set this is called beam me up and I just want to put I'm gonna put the um, the spaceship and then put the little critter like a little alien in the spaceship I'm not going to get my misty out again I'm just going to stamp this down with a block because I'm going to make this all one image it's just going to mean I'm only going to have to cut one out I'm going to use my little post-it note here as a mask so I can put my alien down inside so it looks like you're driving it so I'm going to go ahead and color this in really really quickly and I'll be right back image and you had to run it through the die cut machine once so that works oh that's so cute this is why I don't understand why I haven't used this set because it's just so gorgeous I love that these two completely match each other it just Lawn Fawn does this all the time they have ones that absolutely complement each other and I just love it that's just adorable. I love, I love that, I know I've used a lot of Copics, like if you guys could see off to the side here and see my gigantic pile of Copics, um, you'd sort of see what I mean when I say that I've used too many, but at the same time, I kept most of my blending to two single colors, so it's not as complex as it possibly could have been, but I love the sky. I think the sky looks really cool. I think the purple and those little smudges of yellow and red and green that you can see popping through but you just sort of have to look but I love the purple I think the purple looks really cool so there we go another hobo deco and hold on I just want to show you one cool thing 
not one smidgen of ink come through. I love that about the oxides. They don't bleed. It's such a good thing. Love the non-bleed. Obviously you could have stamped straight onto the pages, but Copics would have bled straight through, so that's why I did all the die cutting. I'm kind of still trying to find a way that I could not do the die cutting, but eh, anyway. But let me know what you think down below and let me know if there's another stamp set you'd like to see me feature in a hobo deco or even in a regular weekly deco. I know I get a lot of stamp sets these days, so if there's something in particular you'd like to see, please let me know. You can leave it down below or of course you can find me on my socials. If you did enjoy this one, please give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Hope you have an absolutely awesome, awesome rest of your day and I will catch you in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.